What movie should have had a sex scene? Cars. I never understood how they ducked or how new cars were born. I was a very emotionally conflicted 13 year old when I saw the scene where the main guy points out the pinstripe tramp stamp on the blue Porsche. Also, the three cars flashing light nine McQueen at the racetrack. Mia and Tia, the two Miatas. Mia Tatas. The movie Sex Tape had zero sex scenes. The island had a sex scene, but Scarlett Johansson wanted to show her boobs and Michael Bay turned her down. Monty Python and the Holy Grail came so close. I was also quite close. Until suddenly, the animator suffered a heart attack. Ag. Did you just type Eric while you were dying? The Incredibles. We all know we wanted to see how Elastigirl got down. Don't worry, the internet has you covered. Every single movie that 12-year-old me watched when my parents were not home. There was so much pre-internet time wasted waiting on a sex scene that never happened. Hear me out, every cheesy rom-com should have a nut-busting, pussy-pounding, furniture-snapping sex scene. It's the one thing missing from the love story, the physical payoff of moving to a small town to start a local coffee shop and falling in love with a forlorn cowboy with commitment issues. Like, imagine the satisfaction and closure of how to lose a guy in 10 days had Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey rolling in the sheets, no pants, penis and vagina. Or if, in The Runaway Bride, Julia Roberts blows Richard Gere's mind with the sex scene that the 90s ducking deserved to see. We're at the point in our society that Hallmark Christmas movie female protagonists should have an intense, life-altering, orgasms that really bring the magic back to Christmas. Edit, wow fam, I guess I'm a start writing a script. No. It should have an awkward, fumbling, disappointing sex scene in the beginning, and then later have a nut-busting, pussy-pounding, furniture-snapping sex scene when they finally find the meaning of Christmas. The true meaning of Christmas is a blackout orgasm. Her brand new sentence. Pride and Prejudice. It'd be a polite sex scene with a big vocabulary. Mm, yes, splendid ah, indeed scrumptious carry on, good heavens, I'm arriving. I'm arriving. They'd actually have said spending, though. It appears I have spent myself, Mr. Darcy. The obvious answer is predator. Just so much packed on mass and sexual tension. Mac, I told you we are watching Transporter 2. Jason Statham's physique is nothing like the lineup in Predator. In terms of muscle mass alone. Cats. Once they removed the buttholes, its fate was sealed. Edit, typo. Anybody ever noticed that since that movie came out the world went to shit? The world was going to shit long before that Hellspawn was released, it's just another nail in the coffin. The B Movie. You like jizz? Yeah, I like the Cantina Band. The Lion King once you realize that lions have sex once every half hour during their mating periods, the beginning becomes a very different experience. Just imagining vocal recordings of James Earl Jones and Madge Sinclair going at it, truly, that would have been art. The Can You Feel the Love Tonight sequence is pretty close to a sex scene. I remember when I saw this movie in a theater as a kid, this middle-aged woman behind me said, Ooh. When Nala gives Simba the bedroom eyes. Not gonna lie, that was the first time I understood what the look was. Thankfully it didn't awaken anything else in me. I could not say the same. Ducking Lamau. King Kong vs. Godzilla. May as well traumatize some people. For that big fat King Kong schlong. Gorillas are not well endowed. About human pinky sized. So even with King Kong being 60x larger in Godzilla vs. King Kong, his dick won't be as impressive as you think. Probably not as big as a blue whale. Jurassic Park. Dino sex would be colossal. Maybe you are guessing wrong about what happened to the goat. Hashtag X200B, hashtag X200B, edit, yes, keep voting. I really want my top ever comment to be a joke about T-Rex ducking a goat to death. S. 
Guardians of the Galaxy I want to know what an Oscavarian looks like. Man who is laying with an Oscavarian. It was one time, man. Back to the future. He should have done the nasty in the pasty. Oh a lesson in not changing history for Mr. A my own grandpa edit, awards? I knew my Futurama knowledge would pay off one day. Thank you kind Redditors. Shrek. Especially I want to know how Donkey made those kids with Dragon. Donkey was the ducker, not the fucky. Physically possible. Probably just climbed inside and rubbed one out. Climbed inside and treated the cervix like the vagina. THX Reddit. Beauty and the Beast. I expect it to be animalistic. No one ducks like Gaston. He's awfully good at ejaculating. You got it in my eye, Gaston. Toy Story, I wanted to see Andy's mom play with her own toys. Also named Woody and Buzz, funnily enough. You've got a friend in me. The Road to El Dorado. Chell was so damn hot. There kinda was a blowjob scene at least. It was implied but we deserved better damn it. If that was implied then Adam Sandler is the master of subtext. Madagascar, I'd be terrified of Melman and Gloria's baby though. Please kill me, I'm in constant pain. Star Wars. No NVM. May I say confiving. Jar Jar's Dink. More like Jar Jar's Kinks. Romeo Must Die. So much sexual tension that didn't go anywhere because test audiences didn't like a black woman and Asian man together. Casablanca, Citizen Kane lots of old movies from before it was acceptable, so they just had to vaguely imply that naughtiness happened. In North by Northwest, the ending shows Cary Grant and Eva Marie Saint making out in a sleeping car. The scene then cuts to the train entering into a tunnel. To Catch a Thief shows Cary Grant and Grace Kelly kissing, then cuts to fireworks bursting. This is hilariously parodied in the Naked Gun 212, https www.youtube.com watch? Vu 4 Alzobd Ku 0 of Channel Film. Groundhog Day. They could have pushed this into an ironic direction where it cuts to various scenes of Bill Murray getting it on, then ultimately getting burnt out on it. It's been said that he lived something like 10,000 years during the span of the movie. Dude probably ducked everything he wanted to and then some. Edited to reflect the correct time span. In the musical Therese the line I've slept with 90% of women in Punxsutawney between 18 and 84, and one dude when I was bored. Dumb Dumber. Nobody did it in the shaggin' wagon. The bathroom scene came pretty close. Twelve Angry Men. 12 now calmed men. Could you imagine the post-nut clarity of 12 men would be able to figure out? They'd figure out who the real killer is and when they'll strike again. Interview with the vampire had a lot of sex in it but not once did any of the main characters kiss. I gotta see a lot of tit but not a lot of man chest, which, let me tell ya, as a teen really busted my chops. Every time Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise leaned like 2 inches away from each other and didn't kiss? Felt like I was holding in a sneeze. Bruh. Edit to add, Rip and Rice. Louis stared at Armand for a whole two minutes like he was inspecting his eyelash mites and nothing happened. As a senior in high school watching this movie new in the theater, this scene gave me quite the unexpected lady boner. Thor Ragnarok. You know, the Grandmaster, Loki, birthday orgies. Ah, Thor Ragnarok. The movie that caused my 10-year-old nephew to ask me what an orgy is. Roger Rabbit. Patty Cake? Lego. Clack, 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 clack. Click, oh yeah.